Good morning, everyone. So today we are celebrating Epiphany. So all we are going to need for today's lesson is this that I have emailed over to you. But if you don't have it for some reason, you can always draw your own or write your own, however you would like. And of course, we need some coloring materials like crayons or markers or pens, pencils, anything that you would like. So for Epiphany, what we are celebrating is that the three wise men have come to give their gifts and celebrate baby Jesus. So let's read that now. Following a star. In a faraway land, some wise men were studying the stars. They saw one very special star in the night sky and followed it all the way to Judea. It was a sign that a great king had been born. When they got to Jerusalem, they asked King Herod where they could find the baby who would become the king of the Jews. Herod's advisors told him of a prophecy that the new king would be born in Bethlehem. The king sent the wise men to Bethlehem saying, once you have found him, tell me where he is so I can visit him too. But King Herod was lying. He really wanted to make sure that the baby didn't become king. The wise men followed the star to Bethlehem and found the baby Jesus in a humble house. There they knelt before him and presented him with wonderful gifts. They left to begin their long journey home. They did not go to Herod's place for God had warned them in a dream not to tell Herod where baby Jesus was. So as you can see right here, they are bringing gold, frankincense, and myrrh to baby Jesus. Now those were wonderful gifts at the time because they would smell good. And of course, the gold is very valuable. And they came to bring their gifts to Jesus because they wanted to celebrate him. They wanted to praise him and they wanted to honor him as the king. And not just any king, the king above all kings, the best king in the world. And of course, we know that Jesus is that. So today I have this color by number for us that you can color. These are the gold, frankincense, and myrrh. But if you want to color it differently, you don't have to do it color by number. You can color it however you'd like to. But at the bottom, I've written, what three gifts would you give to baby Jesus? And so I want us to kind of think about that for a minute. What could you give to Jesus? What if you were one of the wise people that went and saw baby Jesus? What would you bring to give to him? So here's what I thought about. I kind of thought, you know, the little drummer boy the little drummer boy wants to come and play his drum and celebrate his music with baby Jesus. So I wrote, the first thing that I would do is have a song praising Jesus. I love to sing, and I think that that would be a beautiful gift for Jesus. Then the next one, I said, a candle which I will burn, pray, and smell the beautiful scent which will remind me of the birth of Jesus Christ. So I could give Jesus this beautiful scented candle that would smell wonderful. And then the last one, I said money. Money which I will donate to the church as well as to organizations that help people and animals in need. God is always telling us to help others. So I think that bringing some money, kind of like gold, right, would be something that would be wonderful for Jesus. Now, we kind of have to think for a minute. Are we living in the same time as when Jesus is born? No, right? Jesus was born many, many, many years ago. So how are we going to bring these gifts to baby Jesus? Well, I thought about that. God is around us at all times, right? We have the Holy Spirit flowing through us. So God can see these gifts that we want to give right now. So today I'm going to give all three of these gifts to God. I am going to sing a beautiful song about Jesus, praising Jesus later on today. I'm also going to light a candle and have it burn all day. And as I smell the beautiful scent, it's going to remind me, say another prayer. And then later on in the day, ooh, that smells good. Ooh, that's a reminder. Say another prayer. 
I'm going to continuously be praying to God all day. And that will be part of my gift to Jesus. And then for the last one, I am going to donate money today to different organizations that help take care of people and animals that are in need. Sometimes people don't have the money to support themselves. Maybe they need food or clothing or shelter. They need a place to live. There are animals that are, are horribly treated that need help. Maybe they're a homeless animal who needs to be adopted. So I want to give all of that out to the people that can use it. And so that is going to be another gift that I am going to give to baby Jesus today. So what I'd like you guys to do is to color yours. You can do it color by number if you'd like, or you can do it differently. And then right on the bottom, what is it that you are going to do for baby Jesus? And then I encourage you to either do those things today, or if you need a little bit of time to think about it or to plan it, to do it later on this week. And I would love to see your coloring and your ideas of what you are going to give as your gift. So please pray with me. Dear God, thank you so much for this beautiful, wonderful time of Christmas. And now that we're getting into Epiphany and we are going back to school and we are doing all of our things kind of back to normal, please help us to always still celebrate the joy, peace, hope, and love that we've learned about during this Christmas and Advent season. Please keep us safe as we go back into school, whether that's virtual or in person. And let us remember to always give our gifts to you and to do everything to glorify you and praise you, O oh God. In your name we pray. Amen. Bye, guys.